You're my dogs now. Okay, so number four, if the gravitational force between an electron and a proton in a hydrogen atom is 1.0 times 10 to the negative 47 newtons, how far apart are the two particles? So I'm giving you masses. If I give you masses, you use the U log equation. So force of gravity equals G M1 M2 over R squared. Yeah, I think I used the wrong equation. I used the one. But if you did that, but the constant's different, correct? Yeah. You could do that and use the values that I gave you on that table the other day on Wednesday, and you'd get the exact same answer. As long as you use Coulomb's constant instead of G. Okay. So the goal is, is to figure out how far apart they are. So I gotta isolate R. So if I'm isolating R, talk me through how to isolate R. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But G's in the middle. Divide, right? divide by G. Uh, uh, or I can also say multiply by one over G. So force of gravity over big G equals M1, M2 over R squared. Goal is to isolate R. Multiply by M1, M2. Multiply the reciprocal of that. So the trick is here, I'll end up with F, G, big G, M1, M2, 1 over R squared. So there's one additional step here. How would I get it to regular R as opposed to 1 over R? R doesn't <laughs> Can I just flip those fractions? Yeah. Uh, it's been the same thing. And then I square root. And then I square root. So that's the rearrangement to isolate R. Then I throw a bunch of stuff in. Here's the gravitational constant. Mass of my electron mass of my proton and then the force of gravity. And so to type this into my calculator, I'm going to type in the numerator exactly how it's written. Exactly how it's written. So parentheses 6.673 times 10 to the negative 11. Parentheses 9.11 times 10 to the negative 31st. Parentheses 1.67 times 10 to the negative 27th. Get that answer, divide that by parentheses, 1.0 times 10 to the negative 47. Get that answer, square root. And I get. <laughs> and that is the radius. By the way, I said on your. Practice test online, it's not a Bohr's radius. It's not a Bohr's radius because it's not that radius that I gave you when I did the sample problem in class. This is at that particular location and time inside of the atom. And don't forget your units of meters. If I give you any sort of problems that refer to these literature values, you don't have to worry about sig figs. If I give you any of these problems that refer to these literature values, you don't have to worry about sig figs. However, if I give you anything else that you're not looking at the table, please look at sig figs. Yes. Would you mark this down if we did use sig figs? No. <laughs> no. I'm just saying you just don't have to stress that. Okay. <laughs>
Yeah, I'll give you a table. It's going to be on the physical copy of the test. Wait, are those in the is there anything else for the good of the order? Good. Is that what he says? Good. Okay, then I won't say. No, 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 that just reminded me of when you said that.